Bowman here from BW1.com and we're going to do a walkthrough of the setup of the Sony Internet TV with Google TV. Now I have everything plugged in, powered up, ready to go. So we're going to go through the setup process and hopefully everything goes smooth through the first time here as we're recording. So let's start off here with the first screen which asks you if you want to set this up for home or retail. We'll click home obviously. Okay, now it asks if you want to reduce startup time by um, using quick start or if you if you want to use um, regular startup time, it's going to take 30 to 40 seconds longer. Um, if you hit yes, which we're going to do, it's going to be instant when, it, when you power it on. So we'll click next. And then it gives us a list of things that it should take us about 15 minutes or so to do between maximizing your screen, connecting to the internet, signing into your Google account, setting up your TV service, setting up your TV and AV remote controls. So let's just click next here. Maximizing your screen area. Let's see, we'll click next again. Press and hold up. Oh, looks like it's all connected here. Yep. All right. So it looks like we're all uh, maximized out because it looks like we have to hide the blue. Pull it back a little bit. I saw a little bit of blue when I pulled it back. See right there in the corner. And obviously if your TV did not automatically get it, you would have to uh, push it out. And you want to make sure you see no blue area. And then you're all set there. So now we need to connect to the internet. Now we can either plug this in via Ethernet or via wireless. Probably the majority of you that are going to buy this are going to want to connect wireless, which we're going to do here. Going to scan for your network. All right, now I'm just going to set this up here real quick. Okay, now we have it connected to the internet. What it actually does is go up and um, looks like it downloads some system updates, which it says is going to take about 10 to 15 minutes to do here. All right, looks like we um, uh, finished downloading the updates here. It's going to ask us to restart and install, so um, we'll go ahead and restart here. Okay, after what seemed to be a pretty lengthy update it needed to do, it, um, it did a, a reboot and installed the updates, and then it kind of sat there for a few until I um, powered it off and then powered it back on, and then... And then it made me actually go through the whole setup process again. So I had to reset up everything that we previously set up once again. And then after that, it brought me now to here where we were last time. And our system is now officially up to date. So that's pretty interesting there. So that's part of, you know, initial setup, I suppose. So we'll click next here. And we can sign in with my Google account, which is uh, which I'm going to do here. Continue on. And it looks like you can have um, automatically send usage stats to Google. You can check or uncheck that. It will be nice and let them send our usage stats, I suppose. And then we got to enter the zip code that we're located in here. It's in Massachusetts. That's correct. All right, set up your TV service. How do you watch? I have a cable satellite or a TV service with a set top box. I do not have supported setup. All right, so let's see. Um, I have it actually connected via my TiVo, so let's see if the TiVo works as a set-top box since it does have the cable card in it. Oh, wow. That's it. Looks like that worked. All right, and I am in. It's going to ask me where my provider is, and that's Comcast. I see probably here because I have it set up via my TiVo. I'm probably gonna have to put the IR to code for the TiVo to change stations. So um, let's try next, next. Oh, it gives a bunch of codes there. But um, we'll just click yes for now, even though it didn't actually work. Do you? Okay. Let's see. Next question: Do you receive channels such as CNN USA, ESPN? Yes, we do. Do I get premium channels? I currently don't. Looks like the TV setup is complete. Select my TV manufacturer. All right, let's see. We have Sony. Okay, my TV manufacturer actually is Samsung. Don't know if Sony will like that much, but Samsung is who I have. Identify your TV code, manufacturer some code 20, press enter on the keypad. Press volume. Oh, there we go. Looks like we have a setup there. It's probably the easiest I've ever seen these IR codes ever work on a TV. Now you can use the keypad to power your TV on and off, control your TV volume, change your TV input. Nice. 
set up AV remote, do I have AV remote? Nope, I just use my TV speakers right now. I know, very sad. One day I'll get a nice sound system at some point. Setup is complete. You can modify your configuration and send an application. Please register with Sony to experience hands customer service. We'll register later on this. So looks like we gotta do one more restart here, so let's do the restart. And here we are. So we're all set up with our Google TV here. Um, I'm definitely going to get it set in here so that uh, the TiVo probably will work inside of this remote here. I'll report back if that definitely works, so I'll let you guys know. But, pretty much right here, this is the setup for Google TV. So I'm going to play with around with it for a little while, get some more insight on it. I'll keep you guys updated and informed. Expect to see some more videos, and definitely expect to see a final review video coming soon as well. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com. Reminding you, subscribe to our YouTube page here. Follow us on Twitter, and always remember to live your tech world in high definition.